Hey everyone, I'm back with video number two and three and a lot has happened since I posted my last video with my brother. Whew, where to start? So as many of you guys already know, I'm donating my kidney to my brother and we've been picked to be part of a study because we basically are identical when it comes to our blood cells. Um, so that's exciting. And I was in Chicago for about a week and a half undergoing a procedure leading up to um, kidney transplant, which is coming up, it's around the corner. And I'm nervous, I'm excited, but really nervous, but excited. Um, so what you're about to see is my girlfriend injecting me uh, for five days. Uh, I had to take 20 injections, four injections a day. And let me tell you, it was tough. So I had to write down, this is an example, I had to write down um, how many injections I was taking a day. They're called GCF, GCSF injections. Um, and if you guys want to know more about what they are, I can definitely explain in another video. But um, it was tough. And what you're about to see, ooh, I moved the table because I was so dramatic. Um, it was tough, but I got through it. Um, I think the hardest part was getting used to my body feeling different and not feeling comfortable. I think that was the hardest part. Um, but I do have to say that it's one thing being on camera and reporting the news, and then it's another uh, showing a very vulnerable part of your life, honestly. And that is what you're about to see. Um, I didn't record every day that I was getting these injections because honestly, there were there were days that I just wanted to just get it done. And every day was pretty tough. I don't know why it was just tough um, getting the injection or getting it done. And you're going to see how my family helped me through it. Uh, video number two shows, um, will be showing me at the hospital and how that went. I do have to give a shout out to my girlfriend because she did an awesome job recording it um, and you'll get to see all of that. But yeah, I hope, honestly, I'm doing this not only for, for me and my family, but I just hope that this really helps someone else who's thinking of doing this or who has gone through this. Um, as I mentioned, it was a very emotional journey and I don't wanna cry because I think I've come to terms that something is leaving my body and as grateful and excited as I am to give this gift to my brother, it's, it's a little bit nerve wracking. So yeah, that's what you're about to see right now. So stay tuned. Bye. All right, so this is day one. Today is Thursday the 7th, 8 o'clock. Say hello to my girlfriend over there, interrupting my video. Just kidding. <laughs> um, she's gonna help me inject myself for day one and then for the rest of the days I'm gonna do it myself. But um, this is a cooler where all my injections are. And these injections, as I've mentioned, are to reproduce more stem cells. And those stem cells that they that I reproduce um, are going to be going into my brother's body eventually. Um, so this is the bag that I have. Thanks a lot, it's a little bit intimidating. I think at first when she gave them to me, I was like, <laughs> what? Um, so yeah, so they're all labeled. Day two, day one. So it's four injections. I could either choose to inject all four of them at once or two in the morning and two at night. Um, so I'm gonna start with two in the morning and two at night to see how I feel. Uh, she did say, they did say that, um, I was going to feel like bone pain, so I have to be um, eating a lot of things that have calcium and taking Tylenol, so I can't be doing high um, high intensity workouts. I can only walk. Bummer. Because I've been competing with some of my friends on my watch, and I had to tell one of my friends that I had to take it easy this week. She knows who she is. Katie. <laughs> um, so yeah, so stay tuned. I'm about to do it. My girlfriend's going to help me with the first two. I'm a little bit intimidated. Whew. I'm getting intimidated right now. By, I'm getting scared right now. So, of course, I have my little alcohol pads here. Don't mind my nails, they're a little bit ratchet. Um, and then I have a little gauze in case I bleed. And then, of course, the band-aid. So, this is the first time that I'm ever pricking myself. So, I'm a little bit nervous. So, And I have to inject myself in the saddest part of my body 
or you know I can just squeeze it. So of course it's my belly because quarantine. Yeah, just kidding. Um, so yeah, wait a second. You know, see the process. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna put the cheese in Okay, don't go too hard. Like, don't jam it in there. Yeah, I got in there a little bit. Okay, <laughs> don't. Ma, squeeze hard, okay? Squeeze hard. Okay, hold on. Let me squeeze it then. Let me do it. Ya deja que ella lo haga. Okay, you can squeeze it? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's okay. Respira profundo. Don't look. Relax. Don't look. Don't look over there. Look at your mom. At this point, I was having an emotional breakdown. I think this was the first time that it actually just hit me that this is real and it's happening. My mom and my girlfriend were just really there for me, comforting me, and it worked, and I did it. It's night time, this is day one. I took two injections in the morning and now I'm taking two injections at night. Um, it was tough, my body was started to feel weird. I started feeling like tingly in my mouth. Um, so my girlfriend's back here and she's gonna give me my last two injections for the day and then tomorrow I start it all over again. All right, so let's get it done. Day one was definitely one of the hardest days. I know that I'm there smiling and being goofy, but deep down I was a nervous wreck. My best friend came over for moral support and my girlfriend was being such a trooper. She is so squeamish and she just, you know, stood up to the plate and gave me my 20 injections for five days. But even looking at this video gives me the chills because I was not okay, but I was acting like I was okay. But at the end of the day, I know, and I knew deep down in my heart that I'm doing this for a purpose and I'm doing this for the love of my brother. Good morning. All right, this is day three of the Good morning. This is day three of my injections and I think I finally started to feel the after effects of the injections. I get random like shock pains and it, it's painful because I get these, if I get up too suddenly or if I'm walking, um, I just randomly get these sh uh, shock waves throughout my body. It's kind of like I have to just stay there um, and they hurt. So that's the downfall of it. The plan was that I was gonna do them myself but then it didn't work out that way. So baby girl has been doing it for me. Gotta do what I gotta do. Anthony, what you gotta do? Yeah. So this is day three. It. She's watched a couple YouTube videos. She's got the hang of it. All right, so let's do it. I have my little brother over here. Jonathan! I'm gonna wash my hands. He's been holding my hand. Out here. So what are you using? A puppet toy of Jesus. So he's using the, he uses this puppet toy to distract me. To be honest, every day was a different process. It would take us about 20 minutes just to get through the entire thing because there was days that I needed five minutes or 10 minutes just to relax and breathe because I would freak out. We would also make sure that we switch sides. So one day she would inject me on the right side of my stomach and the next day she would inject me on the left side of my stomach to avoid any bruising. I did bruise and bleed a little bit, but it was nothing major. But the biggest thing here was just getting through it. And as you can see, I had a good support system, my little brother holding baby Jesus, making sure that I was okay. I also think one of the funniest parts was watching my girlfriend inject me every day. She hates anything to do with blood and needles and she stepped up to the plate and did a great job and got it done. 
Now, if you want to see what it was like at the hospital when I had to undergo stem cell extraction, stay tuned for part two. I will be showing you that entire process next. Have a good one.